Hello, Just You Good here, and today the Hollywood Reporter revealed three 2017 LEGO DC Superheroes Mighty Micro sets. These are Batman vs. Killer Moth, Wonder Woman vs. Doomsday, and Superman vs. Bizarro. What do I think of these? Well, I'm glad that the Mighty Micros line is continuing into 2017, and these figures look awesome. You guys know I like the Mighty Micros figures. It's a little bit lame that we're getting another Batman, sure, but I love the minifigures this time around. I mean, Wonder Woman and Superman were expected, and I think they look great. It's weird that our first version of Doomsday in physical form is a Mighty Micros figure, but still really cool. And getting Bizarro in a cheap way, as well as uh, Killer Moth in a cheap way, that is good for me because I don't have those two and I don't plan on getting whatever they come in because I think Bizarro was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive and then Killer Moth was only in that one set, the Harvest of Fear set, which I don't plan on getting. The builds this time around, yeah, they're a little bit worse than last time, I have to say. I mean, Superman's car is Superman's car. It's, it's nothing, you know, like a specific vehicle. The one I like the most, though, which is the one I think is the most clever, is Batman's, because I love Batman's helicopter um, from the original 60s Batman show, and that's what this is based off of. That's really cool, and it's a good way to say, you know what, yeah, we're including Batman again, but here's a different suit, here's a different vehicle. As well as Killer Moth's vehicle, I think looks really cool because you guys know I love bugs and everything. And it looks like Killer Moth, so it's a really neat to build. Um, other than that, I mean, Doomsday's vehicle is kind of standard. Wonder Woman's vehicle is a good invisible jet, but there's maybe a little bit too much gray on it. And uh, Bizarro's vehicle is, I don't know, it's meh. Uh, but that's it for now. Check out the Hollywood Reporter's description or the link to the Hollywood Reporter in the description below. I'll express more thoughts when I do my big Comic-Con thoughts video this year, and I'll see you guys later.